I'm Dr. Terry Maple, and I'm professor in residence at the San Francisco Zoo. Very early on, I was interested in environments and how those environments affected behavior. And I was very interested in the experience of captivity. I wanted to do things to make animals live better in captive settings. And I dedicated my whole career to that. Not every animal in the zoo is big. And you have to think about wellness for the little animals as well. And with hedgehogs, uh, like every other animal, uh, they have a certain way of behaving that we need to understand. So it starts with understanding the animal, how it lives in the wild, what's important to it. The well-being issue, the welfare, wellness issue has been with me for a long, long time, over 30 years, and hopefully I've had some impact on the way animals are living in zoos today. The San Francisco Zoo has created this wellness initiative because we're all seeking to create an institution that's committed to superior animal care and bringing out optimal wellness in all the animals at the zoo. Because wellness becomes an operating philosophy, wellness will influence and inform design. The staff are uh, wonderful to work with, they've made a commitment, and that's the first line of uh, evaluation that I have for it. But of course, we want to see changes in the animals too. There are a lot of new things that we're going to discover about them. We're studying them to understand better their needs. There'll be new programs in nutrition. Certainly the veterinarians are continuing to advance the ball on wellness. But there's also animal care techniques, new enrichment techniques, new ways to make the animals happier and healthier. And that's a very important goal of the wellness initiative. But it's also the case that people in the community Certainly families coming to visit the animals will be inspired by the wellness they see here. And hopefully the wellness of our visitors is going to be enhanced by a visit to the zoo.